hello everybody welcome back to this channel in today's video i'm making ghana jello a jello that is so nice and i hope you enjoy it when you also try it i'll start by blending some ingredients together these are tomatoes onions spring onions green bell pepper habanero pepper ginger and garlic I don't usually remove the seeds of the green bell pepper because the seeds gives it a very nice flavor. So I'll blend everything together in order to make my jello stew. So I'll go ahead and add some vegetable oil into my saucepan and I'll quickly pour in the blended mixture. I'll cover this and let it fry for 5 minutes before I go ahead to add in additional ingredients. Please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I'll be giving you very good contents. So after 5 minutes, I'll open it and add some tomato paste. And I'll give it a quick stir. Jello fries is a popular dish in Ghana, Nigeria, Gambia, and other African countries. Ghana Jello is the best and it tastes so nice. I'll also be adding some spices. Make, this is mixed spice, my salt, my fish powder my curry powder star anise and seasoning cube and i'll just give it a stir and cover it to cook for three minutes before i open it and as this is cooking i'm washing my rice just to take away the starch in it that is another secret of making jello in this video I washed my rice twice and after washing I go ahead to add it straight into the stew but now I'll not be adding water to the stew I'll let the rice cook in this stew for some time before I go ahead and add some water to it After 5 to 7 minutes, I open it up and I'll stir it before I go ahead to add some water to it. I do this just to make the rice absorb the sweetness of the stew. Please, I'll be glad to know where you are watching me from by leaving a comment in the comment section. Be careful not to add so much water at a go. You have to be adding the water gradually, and as you add, you have to check your jollof fry to see whether it is properly cooked or not. If not, you over pour the water, and the rice will not be nice or it will look so soft. Cover it again and let it cook for some time before you open. Give it another stir. Go ahead to also add some water again and now cover it with an aluminium foil, parchment paper or any plastic that you have. In making jello, one needs to be very patient. So after some time, I open it and I take away the plastic and I'll stir it again and at this stage I'll be adding some spring onions and I'll stir everything together before I cover it again and allow it to cook for additional 5 to 10 minutes before my jello fries will be ready My yellow rice is now ready to be served. 
I hope you can see how gorgeous this looks. It tastes delicious as well. I hope you try this Ghana Jollof recipe. So without stock, you can prepare your Jollof and you even enjoy it more. So I'm now going ahead to serve it. Enjoy it with my kids and the rest of the family. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful time. Goodbye.